Hey, welcome back. And if it's your first time here, I'm hoping I can persuade you to stay around. Maybe even leave a thumbs up and even possibly a subscribe. If you don't like what I do on this video, leave a thumbs down. That's perfectly okay with me. It's still an engagement. I'm on a field today where I found a, a couple of years ago, a Edward VI silver hammered shilling. Beautiful coin. Magnificent, in fact. And there's just got to be more here. Not necessarily of that coin, but there's got to be more things here. And myself and Mark have come back a few times and tried to find evidence of other things and we've really we've failed. But it's a livestock field, it's also a silage field, so at this time of the year it's just been cut and now he's growing it again now for a second cut. So I've got a very limited window, a margin to get in to have a look. So that's what I'm doing today. Also, this is a dual video because Grant over in the USA has thrown me a challenge. He's thrown down the gauntlet and he wants to have a find of the day challenge. So how can I resist really? I've got loads of history here. Um, I've met Grant down uh, when he came down to a leisure promotions dig right down in Newbury, I think it was. He was there and what a great day and he had a lovely find as well. A lovely tiny little hammered which was superb. So he's all the way in the US and we're on different time zones so I guess he's filming his a bit later than I'm filming mine now. But you know if I can persuade you to stay and watch what happens and maybe even check his video out as well there'll be a link to that in the description of this video you can go and see what he found then maybe you can decide who won the find of the day challenge. Be fairer actually wouldn't it than him or me deciding. Um, so let's get on with it. Let's see what we can find. It's quite a poor scratchy signal this one. I wasn't really going to dig it and especially film it. But this is a competition today after all so I should be filming everything. Or at least most of them. So Let's see if it sounds any better than it did. Oh! It's on 40 and it's out of the hole. Oh no! Gold tin foil. Oh well, what a start, eh? Never mind. I've got a funny feeling Grant might win this one today. Have it. Let's see what it is. I've had two pieces of coke out of here already this morning. Um, I'm not going to discrim them out because it could be something important. You never know. Oh, squeak's gone. Is it? It's in the plug. get it to repeat. Oh, 
Would you dig that? Oh, go on, be on. Would you dig that? It sounds... Well, it could be anything, so... At least if we can get it out of the ground, I won't ever find it again. I won't ever be in intimidated or annoyed by it. So get it out of the ground and get rid of it. That's one way to look at it, I suppose. Now, where is it? It's a four hole button! Never mind, it won't annoy me again. I'm getting no numbers on the BDI for this one. It doesn't sound brilliant. But the camera's on. All I've got to do is to dig a hole. Wish me luck. Come on, Grant. I need to beat you. I need to beat you. Still in the hole. I should make a video on how not to pinpoint. Oh well. I'm going to have to widen it even more. Ah, right. Now I know it's rubbish, but it sounds like it. It's just a piece of modern rubbish. No idea. At last, two and a quarter hours I've been going and very little in the way of signals. I've just got a good signal, just here. It doesn't mean it's a good target. No way. But I'm going to set the camera up and I'm going to dig this one live. Let's just hope I've got something to go against Grant with. Let's do it. The right quality of tone. Reading 88. Let's have a go. I think that's pretty accurate for pointing. Oh, it's more. There's more of this more. Oh, yes. My first coin. Now then. I can't really see anything on there immediately which would identify that. It's very well rotted. And it's gone very thin. But I think I can just begin to see a bust coming through. Sure. Well, hang on. This is tough. If 
I can't identify it, then I can't really put it up. I think you can just about begin to see Britannia on that side and a bust on that side, but I'm going to guess that's George III or second. I don't know. I'll have to. If that's the best I'm going to get all day, I'll have to put that one up. And two seconds later, I move from there to there and find a ship, half penny. Now, uh, which monarch is that? Elizabeth the second. Right, and the other news is there's another one. Let me just get my detector. So that's where that hole was. And I think that was it. There we go. Hopefully this will be a coin as well. There was a nice bit of silver though. Come on, I need silver. Got a coin now, so I need something worthwhile to put up against Grant. Otherwise she's gonna walk all over me. Nothing. In the plug. Sounds like a copper coin again. So let's have a look. somewhere. Uh-huh. Oh no, it's a piece of copper. But it's not a coin. Never mind. Cow tube, here we come. See, here we go. Oh, it isn't a cow tube. Well, blow me, I found about a dozen cow tubes today and it sounded just like one. It's a piece of aluminium, that's why it says pull here. <laughs> so it wasn't a cow tube. Oh, God, I can't get anything right today. Disaster. And I'm getting near now to having to pack up. I've got to call it a day. And you've got this easily. Let me just go through with you what I've got before we ask our subscribers to decide who's got the best find of the day. Are you ready for this? Lumps of coke, zero discrimination on, but sometimes they sound quite good if they're deep. Bits and pieces of scrap there. Bits of iron. Aluminium, rubbish, and in the middle, 18 cow tubes over here two half pennies one i know is george ii and the other one is queen elizabeth ii ship half penny and that piece which i'm probably going to have to put up as my find of the day before it broke which i think i did in the hole that was the front plate of a little strong box lock so what I'm submitting today isn't necessarily the greatest thing I've ever found. Uh, it's not silver, it's not very old, but it's kind of relevant to the challenge today because I am challenging a Britishman. So um, I am going to submit this guy and this, I should say, lady. When I found it, I wasn't sure what it was because it said Regina and Africa on it. Um, but I cleaned it up, did a little bit of research, and it's actually a Queen Elizabeth II um, African coin um, from the 1950s so what's interesting about it is now the word Regina which threw me is because I'm usually uh, finding King George coppers uh, and it says Rex on it Regina is Queen so Queen Elizabeth II um, somebody had fashioned it either into a pendant or a bracelet because I found both of these in the same hole I'll show you pictures of what these things look like that other people have done so I think it's kind of cool it's a nice decorative piece to make out of these coins um, and again, because um, my, my challenger, um, Stephen, is across the pond in England, uh, just fitting that I found something like Queen Elizabeth II. So 
Stephen, I'm sure you found something much nicer than that. Um, I hope you did. I hope you had a fantastic day, a fun day. Um, thank you for accepting my challenge. Right, so it's down to you guys. You decide which find of the day you're going to go for. After you've decided that, um, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. If you want to support me on my channel and be a Patreon, you can see the link in the description. And also, all the digging equipment and stuff I use, and photographic equipment to make the videos, is also down with links in the video description. I'll catch you later. Thanks for Stephen is the man with the hat and the metal detector. Oh, oh. Walking the land, he's a treasure collector. Detecting and digging lots of holes Looking for anything that's old New videos every week, so please subscribe